Welcome back to SolidWorks Live at SolidWorks World 2019 in Dallas, Texas. Thanks for joining us again. I am joined here uh, with Rapolis Grazis from Lava Drops. Did I do all right that time? Fantastic. All right. Rapolis, thank you so much for uh, joining us this afternoon. For the folks at home who didn't get a chance to see General Session on Monday morning, you gave a great presentation, which is available on the live stream for anybody who wants to go back and watch it on YouTube or Facebook or the SolidWorks World uh, webpage. But for those people who haven't had a chance to see that yet, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you brought out on stage to share with the rest of the audience there? Yeah, thank you for the introduction. Um, so yeah, I was talking more about the collaboration in between the nature, human, and design, and new technologies and what is up about all of the concept of lava drops. So I'm an industrial designer, but for like more than 14 years, I am playing a guitar. Guitar is my passion. And I was studying at Vilnius Art Academy of Arts and also Royal Danish Academy of, of Arts. And I've developed a line uh, by studying industrial design. I've developed a line of musical instruments that could inspire creativity. That was my mission. And I've used thing that is mostly common in, in, in all over the world. It's nature materials, you know. It's, and the, the idea was to use nature materials together with modern technologies and not do the same as, uh, you know, industrial companies who are using maybe cheaper things and everything. It's more about the quality, aesthetics, and uh, having a thing, an object, that could be a mediator between the human and nature. That was the main, the main part, you know. Okay. So, one of the examples you gave were some of the rare uh, metals you are using or some of the exotic woods that you are using in this case. The, uh, the guitar that you're holding in your hand is an example of the art that you've created. Can you share some examples of maybe some of the, the rare metals that might have been used in this or some of the exotic woods you've used in this guitar, for yeah. example? So, particularly this guitar is crafted from it's covered with uh, the saw color, but uh, and and uh, blue color, but it's crafted from uh, Lithuanian maple hardwood, and also sapelli mahogany family, and it's a neck through technology, so there is no intersection and and no screws in between the neck and the body, so you have a, a straight one continuous piece. Yeah, it's uh, multiple pieces combined okay. together and color it. But yeah, we have models that, that you can see them through, through okay. yeah, not color red ones. But also the main thing of this guitar is not just unusual shape of it, but uh, is the aluminum aircraft grade aluminum contour, which uh, uh, wraps actually the, uh, the guitar body. And it lift, lifts up the wood perfection of, of the tonal possibilities. So it's the technology where I am drilling actual, uh, not a screws, but, but divots inside the, in, inside the wood. So, so it actually resonates. So when you are playing on stage, you can feel that all instrument is resonating really well. And the aluminum gives a, uh, gives a really nice touch for the sound, like a resonance, and uh, very note long sustain. So you're touching all of the senses by doing this. Yeah. It's not just well, obviously resonance is sound, yeah. but uh, it's creating a sound and a feel for the artist who's playing this instrument while they're doing that. That would be a unique experience to say, an off the shelf guitar that somebody like, you know, exactly. me might might go after. So it's a, it's a gorgeous musical instrument and a gorgeous piece of art. And it's not the only one you've created either. You've created a, a line of these you had mentioned. And before we jumped on camera, you had mentioned you have one that you've created with amber. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So I have basically three shapes. It's lava drop. It's lava drop X shape like this and lava uni drop. So I have three basic shapes which could be combined in uh, different materials and customized according to the customer. Uh, and lately, I have uh, created a guitar that is created from amber, the black amber, which is like uh, resin from the Baltic Sea, which is 50 million years old. And uh, we managed to combine everything of two kilograms of the bla black amber, melt it together inside the body shape. Wow. So what, what does that do to change the sound that the instrument creates? It creates a really, really long resonance and, and note sustain. And it's also when you are playing the instrument, you can feel that 
all, all body vibrates, you know, and, and it's a really uh, inspiring moment to touch the material, which is 50 million years old, and it's actually plugged in, installed into the instrument. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So yesterday we had the opportunity to hear this played. Uh, your guitars have been played all over the world by famous musicians. That has to be a very rewarding experience for you. Yeah, it, it, it's great. Welcome back to SolidWorks Live at SolidWorks World 2019 in Dallas, Texas. Thanks for joining us again. I am joined here uh, with Rapolis Grazis from Lava Drops. Did I do all right that time? Fantastic. All right. Rapolis, thank you so much for uh, joining us this afternoon. For the folks at home who didn't get a chance to see General Session on Monday morning, you gave a great presentation, which is available on the live stream for anybody who wants to go back and watch it on YouTube or Facebook or the SolidWorks World uh, webpage. But for those people who haven't had a chance to see that yet, why don't you tell us a little bit about what you brought out on stage to share with the rest of the audience there? Yeah, thank you for the introduction. Um, so yeah, I was talking more about the collaboration in between the nature, human, and design, and new technologies and what is up about all of the concept of lava drops. So I'm an industrial designer, but for like more than 14 years, I am playing a guitar. Guitar is my passion. And I was studying at Vilnius Art Academy of Arts and also Royal Danish Academy of, of Arts. And I've developed a line uh, by studying industrial design. I've developed a line of musical instruments that could inspire creativity. That was my mission. And I've used thing that is mostly common in, in, in all over the world. It's nature materials, you know. It's, and the, the idea was to use nature materials together with modern technologies and not do the same as, uh, you know, industrial companies who are using maybe cheaper things and everything. It's more about the quality, aesthetics, and uh, having a thing, an object, that could be a mediator between the human and nature. That was the main, the main part, you know. Okay, so one of the examples you gave were some of the rare uh, metals you are using or some of the exotic woods that you are using in this case. The, uh, the guitar that you're holding in your hand is an example of the art that you've created. Can you share some examples of maybe some of the, the rare metals that might have been used in this or some of the exotic woods you've used in this guitar, for yeah. example? So, particularly this guitar is crafted from it's covered with uh, the saw color, but uh, and and uh, blue color, but it's crafted from uh, Lithuanian maple hardwood, and also sapelli mahogany family, and it's a neck through technology, so there is no intersection and and no screws in between the neck and the body, so you have a, a straight one continuous piece. Yeah, it's uh, multiple pieces combined okay. together and color it. But yeah, we have models that could, that you can see them through, through okay. yeah, not colored ones. But also the main thing of this guitar is not just unusual shape of it, but uh, is the aluminum aircraft grade aluminum contour, which uh, uh, wraps actually the uh, the guitar body, and it lift lift them up the wood perfection of of the tonal possibilities. So it's the technology where I am drilling actual, uh, not a screws, but, but divots inside the, in, inside the wood. So, so it actually resonates. So when you are playing on stage, you can feel that all instrument is resonating really well. And the aluminum gives a, uh, gives a really nice touch for the sound, like a resonance, and uh, very no long sustain. So you're touching all of the senses by doing this. Yeah. It's not just, well, obviously resonance is sound, yeah. but uh, it's creating a sound and a feel for the artist who's playing this instrument while they're doing that. That would be a unique experience to say, an off the shelf guitar that somebody like, you know, exactly. me might might go after. So it's a, it's a gorgeous musical instrument and a gorgeous piece of art. And it's not the only one you've created either. You've created a, a line of these you had mentioned. And before we jumped on camera, you had mentioned you have one that you've created with amber. Is that correct? Yeah. yeah. So I have basically three shapes. It's lava drop, it's lava drop X shape like this, and lava uni drop. So I have three basic shapes, which could be combined in uh, different materials and customized according to the customer. 
Uh, and lately, I have uh, created a guitar that is created from amber, the black amber, which is like uh, resin from the Baltic Sea, which is 50 million years old. And uh, we managed to combine everything of two kilograms of the bla black amber, melt it together inside the body shape. Wow. So what, what does that do to change the sound that the instrument creates? It creates a really, really long resonance and, and note sustain. And it's also when you are playing the instrument, you can feel that all, all body vibrates, you know. And, and it's a really uh, inspiring moment to touch the material, which is 50 million years old. And it's actually plugged in, installed into the instrument. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah. So yesterday we had the opportunity to hear this played. Uh, your guitars have been played all over the world by famous musicians. That has to be a very rewarding experience for you. Yeah, it, it, it's great to see guys playing. Uh, actually, main audience of, of who are purchasing those guitars is more collectors because it's a boutique section instruments. We are a small company in Vilnius, Lithuania, so we are not producing a lot of instruments for a bigger audience. We are mainly focusing on, on people who would like to be inspired by, by our designs and be also inspiration for others and uh, innovators in music, the visionaries and, 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 and etc. So, so yeah, yeah, lately we've built a guitar for Jack White, I've created as a present from Lithuania uh, because Lithuania is, uh, uh, just loves him. <laughs> and, 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 and yeah, and it was a... Uh, uh, so do I. <laughs> really, yeah. So, what you had mentioned, you wanted to be able to uh, uh, create inspiration for creativity with nature. What, what brought that out in you? What, what made you want to go down that path to inspire that creativity? I think nature is probably actually my main source of creativity. And because I, I was a nature guy from a long time ago, and, uh, and I'm still still in here. Uh, nature has uh, aesthetic forms that every day they are different. So the main inspiration is took from nature because there is no um, second the same thing in nature. So that's why, you know, it's, okay. it's, it's the biggest thing that, that you can be inspired by a leaf, um, an ocean wave, a mountain or a tree or a branch or something like this, you know, it's, it's really inspiring. And you look to those, uh, those elements in nature, both when you're designing from a shape perspective, but also a material selection perspective? Yeah. I can talk a bit more about the shape because the yeah. uh, company name is Lava Drops. Yeah. So the first name is Lava and it's for um, the material that always uh, ha has a lot of different uh, possibilities. You know, it, it is a stiffened lava, it is melted lava, it's blowing lava from volcano. So it's the, the material, no, not the material, but the, the uh, journey of the material. And, um, and drops, it's, it's more about the shape of the guitar. So when we are talking about the shape, each drop, lava drop, is shaped as an actual drop. And it's, it's because it has ergonomical possibilities. It's, it's a balance possibilities, and, and also it's, uh, it's a nature thing. And it's very pleasing to the eye as well. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, you just, so you decided you wanted to do this. You obviously had to, um, in academia, I mean, did you come across any tools that helped you start to see that this would be a possibility? Uh, by using the tool or yeah, by using yeah. the Yeah, like, I mean, uh, you, at some point, you, you said you had a background with the musical instruments. You wanted to bring this inspiration. Were there tools that you found that were able to make kind of this dream become a reality for yeah. you as you did yeah. that? So, actually, by studying in the Academy of Arts, I was using a lot of models uh, crafted by hand and everything, and I, I thought, why I'm wasting my time doing that, you know, I, I need to just make it everything in computer and 3D and, and, and just make by a CNC machine and just save my time and, and build more mo models and simulations and renders to see the ending visual and uh, to show for my, you know, tutors and, and some colleagues and, yeah. So, and I've used SolidWorks, uh, actually SolidWorks was the first program and, and it's now till now, you know, it's serving me a lot of time and, and, and energy and helping me in various stages. And uh, yeah, through that time till now, I'm using SolidWorks together. At the moment, I have uh, my engineer who is more working with SolidWorks than me. 
I am more a uh, conceptual wise guy, you know, trying different materials and testing everything and, and, and thinking and managing everything. But yeah, it's a collaboration in between. And here X Design came came in, you know, it's a new platform, useful platform and, and reliable platform. And um, it's cloud based, so it's very nice that it's compatible with all the devices. So you can actually use a PC, an iPad, iPhone, or some normal phone, you know, like usual phone, you know, or, or, or a normal computer, you know. It's, it's compatible all the devices in between the team. It's nice. So you needed to be able to collaborate with your team because you have different skill sets that you are each bringing to the table from yep. your engineer who is the very technical CAD person. You're bringing a lot of industrial design. Yep. Uh, uh, talent to the table. So, are you guys are you guys using things like the 3D experience, uh, the work groups, and the workspaces within yeah. the platform to collaborate on those ideas, but also share the design and engineering data with yeah. one another? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And actually, this is on the X Design could be possible to do that, and also post it. You can post it directly on Facebook or on Instagram to your end customer, or just directly send by email and just look at it. Maybe it's good or not. And would you like a bit more difference and things? And also, it's a quick collaboration in between uh, between the team, you know, and between my manufacturer guys. Okay. So, uh, were you? Uh, is this is your first time at SolidWorks World? I assume. Uh, second, I've this been here second like time. three okay. years ago. Okay. So, were you at uh, General Session this morning where they talked about a new product coming out called X Shape? Uh, no, I didn't hear oh, about it. Okay, so they made an announcement today. They're okay. going uh, this morning. They're going to be talking about another X product okay. uh, that will allow subdivisional modeling uh, within the web browser, just okay. like X Design does. So if you're not familiar with that, that's very push and pull on the shapes, and so that may open up even some more possibilities nice, uh, nice. for you. Definitely to try out. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, maybe when we're finished here, we'll go over and I can uh, show you where we can learn some more information okay. about that. So. Um, so for the folks at home who, you know, they have an idea or they want to create inspiration, what advice would you have for them? Be wise. Be, not, not be in, in one place. Try out anything that you would like to do that, at that day, you know. Be inspired by nature. Nature probably is, is the main source of creativity for everything, you know. We all grew from nature. We, we will be gone in nature and 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 yeah i think i think creativity is everything and with modern technologies we can we can do a lot of things so so innovating always innovating do not stop innovate and and try some new things some new possibilities uh, and do not afraid of of trying those possibilities so if folks want to see more of your works of art, uh, is there some place they can go to uh, see some more beautiful pictures or potentially see artists uh, playing your instruments? Is there some place they could go? Yeah, so there are a couple places. The, the main place is uh, lava-drops.com or you can find us in Instagram page, Lava Guitars, okay. and, and Facebook page, also Lava Drops, Lava Guitars. Okay. Well, Rapalos, I want to thank you so much for spending a few minutes with us here today thank to you. talk about this beautiful guitar. It was great having you on here. Um, so for those of you uh, joining us live, be sure to stay tuned. We've got lots of great live content that's going to be coming to you all throughout SolidWorks. So make sure you subscribe to us on YouTube, like us on Facebook, and stay tuned to the SolidWorks World website.